So the first sentence, please just start it with like, my name is Tai Sheets, I'm the co-director of the, and then yeah. you will fill up the blank spot. Uh, how was your day? It was good. Thank you for asking. I said, first sentence, you need to start it, my name is Tai Sheets. <laughs> you want another beer? No, I'm good. I said, first sentence. Oh, shit, no, come on, stop it. <laughs> Yo, no, you're joking with me. I, know. I need to start this video. Okay. Yeah, 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 no, that's <laughs> good. Yeah, that's good. Hello, my name is well, well done. Uh, Sheets, and I am the co director for The Farm with Jenna Jorge San. Welcome to the AA meeting. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Wait, no. Welcome. <laughs> I'm, I'm running the meeting. What's up you beautiful people? This is day two of the recording session. Uh, we are recording the movie The Farm with uh, Ty and Jenna here. So let me start with day one and let me present the crew to you and uh, let me show what happened on day one. Why are we here today? <laughs> uh, yeah, so <laughs> my name is Ty Sheets and I am the co-director with Jenna Jorgensen uh, on the farm and so we both wrote it and co-directed it um, Individually, I am also I also produced it and I edited it or currently editing it We're coming up on a picture lock this next week. So I'm super excited. We're getting ready to shoot first shot um, Yeah, we're here for the set of the farm the farm 2019 and uh, Yeah, I'm pumped. I'm excited. I met this guy today it's John. I'm John. He's taking care of the hamster? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so John McDonald. It was funny because I was really nervous about finding a sound guy. We didn't have a sound guy and I walked up, I was like, John, I think I don't know what your experience is and but I'm gonna need you to run sound. And he was like, Bro, that's what I went to school for and I was like yeah, that was awesome. So you're not just a sound master, but the light master too? Mm-hmm, yeah, see? Lights on. I, uh, I pressed that button and uh, made the whole thing happen. So you could say the success of this film is all my, you know, my responsibility. And then it's Chris Coral, who is a buddy, really old friend of mine from college. He was the script soup and the first assistant director, keeping us on time. What's the next other one? Love and lack thereof. It's gonna be in the car? Yeah. It really will be. You're so happy. <laughs> <laughs> and then we Vince Williams, another really close friend, who was the DP. James Stevens, he came up to the farm and um, I mean, he's he's just a solid cam op. I mean, he's you can always rely on him. I'm the cam op for the set, uh, so basically whatever Vince tells me to do, I do it. But with this today one. we're shooting with the A7S Mark II uh, with some old vintage Zeiss lenses, a uh, set of primes, things like that. George Winchell, he was the gaffer for day two of uh, the farm, and he brought like way more equipment than than. Not, not like way more equipment than we needed, but like it just so much more equipment than I thought someone owned here, like personally owned here in central Pennsylvania. George, so what's your role today? I guess gaffer. I honestly don't know for sure, but I'm going to take the role if it's not taken by someone else. Well, you're the man with the experience, right? I think so. <laughs> Finding the actors for the farm, it actually was a way easier process than I thought it was gonna be. I found like five or six different Facebook pages of like Philadelphia actors, Pittsburgh actors, Central Pennsylvania actors, you know, Northeast, you know, actors association, or and um, I I ended up coming across um, a page was like Lancaster actors and uh, who was ran by Bradley Hawkins. You like it, Bradley? I love it. <laughs> the chair is very comfortable, actually. Yeah. 
who he actually plays the role of Wilfred. <laughs> you are the husband from Transylvania, right? <laughs> <laughs> but he helped us find our main character, Sandy. And I, I mean, she, I, the Avery Kellington, she did great as the role of Sandy. Don't, don't drink too much. Rolling. Excellent. Oh, we're rolling. Oh, oh. oh, I didn't know we had stuff. Tay! <laughs> oh, God. It's good for you. In the other Facebook pages, reached out, we probably had like, I would say 14 people audition, which is way more than what you would expect. We just really lucked out. We had an actor from Philly, Matthew Braddock, who plays the role of Scott. So my name is Matt Braddock, and I'm playing the role of Scott. Any questions? Who's the second husband, right? I hope I'm the first, first. husband. <laughs> <laughs> and then we also had uh, uh, Brittany Grove, who she was, um, she's like 40 minutes away from location, so she was pretty, she commuted, which was pretty nice. And together, they, they arm themselves with all sorts of knives and guns and bats and other, you know, farm equipment, right? And then they come and they attack the farm. Uh, other than, I mean, uh, other than that, we had two other actors, Laura Scott Wise and Daniel Griffin. So happy with the set? <laughs> Yes, we finally got it done, and Yay! you know, I felt that I delivered my lines yeah, brilliantly. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I, I mean, it's just it's my big break, man. <laughs> so I'm here with Laura. She's the first wife. No. And, uh, second wife. Yes. All right. Mandy. All right. <laughs> I have to get this information correctly. You are acting as the actor today, right? Yes, as Bryce. So second husband. <laughs> second husband. Second husband. So. Will everything. Everything will go good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure the therapy will be fine. I'll just counseling. I've heard wonderful things, I think. I don't know, she looked it all up, so. I mean, the cast, you know, the cast is so important because that's what you see, you know, on screen. And everyone was real troopers, you know. This is Ryan. I'm Ryan Steger. So what's your role, Ryan? I'm the assistant to the directors. Coffee boy. Yeah. <laughs> She's here. She's doing the makeup. Hi. What could you possibly do to this face? <laughs> Nothing, right? <laughs> Nothing. <you're> perfect. <laughs> well, I was so thankful that everyone on the crew, cast and crew, were so nice, so positive overall. There were many good vibes, all good vibes all around, uh, which was really cool. And yeah, I mean, there were some stress stressful points throughout the days of filming, but I definitely say that. Everyone, for the most part, had a pretty calm demeanor or was able to get back to a good spot and just um, have fun and joke around and keep it lighthearted. That's a good shot. So the farm is basically about a couple, Scott and Rose, who go on a week-long retreat to a farm where it is a couples counseling retreat and their counselor, Sandy, um, turns out to not be what they expect, I guess, as a counselor. Um, <laughs> Sandy, you know, promises to set their relationship troubles free and it gets very dark how she does that. I don't know. It's 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 a nice place. I think it might be a scam just to get free farm labor. The farm in the house. Yeah. I'm trying to be professional uh. here, but. <laughs> I think it'd be appealing because you have a lot of couples, who, you know, bit fight who need counseling. And this isn't a, a slander on counselors, but it just goes to show that, you know, even though you're in hard times, like with a couple, like there's always something worse. And it's, you know, you have to choose your battles and choose what um, you're gonna decide to get through and, and like trial through hardship type deal. I think from the beginning, Jenna and I wanted to make something that was, I don't want to say horror, but darker, like a little more grittier. And I'm not, I mean, I'm like a, I'm a huge Spielberg heartwarming 
like movie fan, you know, and and I mean I love dark I love darker movies and stuff. I mean they're really inspiring. I think that this film was a great practice on how to like channel that inspiration. I think as a concept, I think it has potential for something longer, like a two hour film. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, questions come up and you just don't have the answer. I think that's when I, that, that's when I like, hmm, I don't say nervous, but I start second guessing and I have to be able to come up with an answer quick and decisive so that they, so that we can keep the crew working, but then also so that I don't start second guessing myself throughout the rest of the shoot, you know, just so I don't start creating a mindset where I'm where I'm like, okay, I have no clue what the heck I'm doing. I think that Jenna and I just had a good understanding, good chemistry of just like, okay, you're working with the actors, I'll work with the camera crew, you know? No, you're working with the camera crew, I'll work with the actors. Oh, you wanna go, go let the makeup person know this? Go work with the makeup and costume, and I'll, I'll run the DP through the next shots, you know what I'm saying? And it, we had this all talked out and had a lot of conversation about like how we were gonna approach co-directing. And honestly, it was, I mean, it's, I think it's my favorite set that one of my, I mean, I think it's my favorite set that I've been on. Like I had such a good time and it was, it was nice co-directing like with Jenna. <laughs> how much you trust me? Oh, I you trust trusted me because I put I it did trust you. Yeah. All right, let me go back with the pitch for you. Okay. Ready, quiet on set. It's funny because it got, it's like, as soon as you started saying the line, the, the wind died and then it would pick right back up as soon as she was done. Yeah, there was just one take where the wind was over when she was talking, but then all the other ones, like it's right when she says the line, it sounds fine. Action. Gang, gang. <laughs> Can we... Like that? Yeah. Can we have you stand in the middle of yeah. the road? A bit of a scene building here. Maybe <laughs> uh. out from the wall a bit? Yeah, that'd be great. Yes. Oh, it really rocks. It really rocks. Actor in. They were filling this space. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling. Sound. Rolling. Slate. Scene. Eleven. Aphrodite. Take four. Marker. I think the only thing I was like nervous about was, um, just like with the 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 location, which we were so thankful to get, you know, for, uh, for, free to, low no cost i just i remember always like passing like the farm and being like man that's like such a cool location and i know i'd want to film there and so whenever uh jenna and i were talking we're like yo we need some cool locations ideas location ideas i was like yo i know an idea i i have a location for this like you really could just put the camera down anywhere and you get a good shot like it was just so it's just such a pretty place and secluded and and it just really when i say pretty i just mean Perfect. Yeah, no. All right, let's go home tomorrow back at 7 yeah. or okay, 8. No. Yeah, let me sweep. Let's start director. Hey, what's up? Director 2, director 1. Get it right? Yeah, ladies first. <laughs> Just please don't kill us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's all we, night too. We're in the middle of the... Like, we have another service. day. We got your yeah. service. Right? Another day of shootings. And back. Day 2 at the farm. And uh, ready to rumble. <laughs> We back. Day two, the farm. Yeah, that's what I just said. Oh, well. But it's okay. Thank you for saying. Yeah, great minds think alike. What's going on, James? Setting up for the first shot of day two. But if we just bring up that fashion wall. Good morning. Hello. 
A little bit of haystacking action. All right. He just said it's uh, another day. Master production design. Another, another day, another hay. <laughs> so, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Pun intended. Everything needs to look how it looked last night. I'm wearing a different shirt though. Soon we will be done with this production day. Like 12 more hours. Yeah, that's not soon. Come on. Who's happy about this? <laughs> what is your uh, time frame for soon, man? Well, if you love something, the time runs. I, I guess that's true. You want to hold this for another 12 hours? <laughs> <laughs> Jen and I taken a lot of interest in like the a lot of the films coming out nowadays. Like for example, like Get Out or Us or um, even like the new Joker movie and and uh, it just a lot. I mean, just a lot of movies that kind of we wanted to just c contribute to that genre of just like not something that was like horror film, but something that was drama, but it had some like chemistry, like couple chemistries, and like, but like it kind of put people in a situation that was like, mm, like a broken, a broken couple or a broken relationships or relationships that didn't know they were broken, but like realized it through the story. And then basically, you know, being put through this kind of disturbing experience and then in the end, coming out of it or not, but in the end, like realizing, you know, kind of like growing and there being some type of character arc of growing closer together. I love how it's going and I'm excited for everyone to see it and we'll see how it goes. I mean, the dream would be fest the festival circuit, you know, 2020 festival circuit. So get it done by spring, put it out in festivals. We'll hear back in the fall if we got in and go just do the festival route. And the, the dream would be someone picking it up and be like, yo, like, We'll give you a small budget to do a whole feature for it, and that I mean, obviously that I mean that would be great. I bring the whole crew back, and you know we just get writing and get going. So the thing is, is because some festivals you can't get in if you post it publicly, and that's why that's what I've learned in the past of submitting my projects, and that so that is why we're waiting until like after this film festival circuit to go. We'll see how it goes. I'm excited to see. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad that you came over. Yeah, me too. It was so great seeing you, man. It will be a hustle to edit this, but... Yeah. <laughs> I love uh, the conversation. Yeah. Do I have anything yeah, else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't even know how to describe how thankful I am for you doing this video. I mean, it's so hard to get people who want to do, like, BTS. Well, thanks for having me. You gonna put my name on the at the end? Your name is at the end. Really? I, I just put in your credit today. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yeah. I have you in as a grip and electric and then I have you in as a BTS. Alright. BTS uh Sounds videographer. Cool. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Woo! <laughs> yeah, it's a How do you feel? Good. I think we got good stuff. Pretty tired, but I guess that's what it you know, it is what it is. So I'm just happy to be done. Everyone's working so hard to get out of here. Yeah, it's been good. Uh, hey, Jenna. How do you feel? Hello. I'm feeling great. Come on. Are you happy? Yes. 100%. 120%. All right. <laughs>